Guys, we're back out on another session today. We're fishing Point Riley. Got uh, Sean over here, and Sam has also come along for the ride. So, just starting off with floating the uh, Inku Glow Tiger under an Inku floated weight, and got some S factor on those hooks because we know that sorry, on those jigs because we know that um, the squid, if they grab on, they'll likely hold on a bit longer. And we'll see how we go, we're very early. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning and high tide's not till about two o'clock. That looks like we're getting some action already. We haven't been in the water for much long at all. And it looks like, yeah, we've got a squid. The Inku tackle's coming through. Feels good too, feels really decent. Hope you've got an inky squid jig on, Sean. <laughs> First one for the day. That was like, what, two minutes? <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> it's not huge. Oh. But it's, uh, it's what they call a, uh, a good eating size. Bring him over to show you guys. So yeah, oh, he's squirting a bit to there. Hopefully I'm in frame. I'm not sure where I've got this camera positioned, but yeah, good little eating size. And as I said, with the S factor, he's grabbed onto that and, uh, and kept on pulling on it. So I just have to make sure that swivel doesn't end up in the top eye. And not fall in. And we're right. Nice little uh, rod holder there. That's exactly where we were just before. So hopefully we get it to, to go down shortly because it certainly didn't take long the first time. That's on the Inku Glow Tiger. Perfect day for it, nice sunny, only a few clouds in the sky. But yeah, good, good tail offshore breeze. So we have definitely picked the right spot today. We may have another squid, I'll have a quick look. We do, we've got another squid guys with the seagull following. <laughs> They're not being all that aggressive in pulling it right down. They're just sort of playing with it. Where's that civil? There's a civil. Again, about the same size. Oh, we've got some little bait fish in here now. With that burly. Perfect. I think I got another squidly on. See which direction it's going. Yep, number three's on the board, guys. Oh, and he feels, he feels good. He's giving us a really good pull. Yeah, this is a, definitely a bigger one than the other two, unless he's just a lot more angry. So again, this is a difficult squid fishing, guys. This is a, uh, an Inku squid tackle jig under a weighted Inku float with about a one and a half to two meter trace. Put the S factor on the jig. And what, we've been here probably less than an hour and we've got three squid. Sean's problem is that he's not using an Inku squid tackle jig. That's why he hasn't caught any yet. There's one in the tackle box. But that is a bit better one. You can see that, guys. Oi, sorry about that. Pulled his, uh, pulled his candle off. So there he is there, guys. Very nice size. That's number three. And yeah, as I said, watch it going the wrong direction because they don't always pull it down. Now, and you can see, so this jig, this jig pretty much started brand new and you can see where the squid attack it on the back. 
around the back of the head. So that's where you want your S factor. And it's always good to uh, just treat it like a bait, just freshen it up every now and then. It just means that when the squid grab it, they'll get that fishy taste. They, as I said in a previous video, when I've accidentally tasted it, it tastes a bit more like prawn crackers and chicken chips, but anyway. But apparently squid like that. That was Sam from uh, Wallaroo that gave me that tip on a video, one of my very early video comments. So thanks for that, Sam. It has immensely helped the results. And you can see I'm casting quite a fair way because I'm only using 10 pound braid, 20 pound on the leader. And you don't need to, uh, I mean, got a tail breeze obviously, but you don't need to have very heavy gear. You want to be covering a lot of ground. Well, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So Sean's moving over onto the Glow Tiger because he knows a good thing when he's seen it. Three zero so far, not that we're counting. Well, I am, but he's not. It's just that perfect weather for the Glow Tiger. Glow Tiger, Dino White, any of those glowy ones, probably the pink glow would go all right. Your red head with the red head and the white body. And I'm not gonna be surprised if we've got another one. <laughs> nah. It's just weird, it was going a little bit to the right and looked like it was bobbing a bit, more than usual. It definitely is bobbing. Might be one that playing with it and I just pulled it out of its tentacles without getting it jagged. And often even if you just move them, you're moving the, the jig back up and it's gonna sink back down so that can attract them back. Yeah, definitely got one now. There we go. And there you go. Re <laughs> Sorry, Sean changed over to the uh, Glow Tiger and he's on as well. So straight away. So get your hands on some inku squidtackle.com.au inku glow tiger. Use code Matt's Fishing. You'll get 10% off. You'll also be supporting the channel. And you know what? You'll be catching some squid. Well done, mate. So it just shows you he was using another jig for that whole time. Hadn't got one. And now he's got that massive one, which is really good. Glad I could help, sir. And I've got one probably just a little bit under that. And the Inku squid jigs are absolutely slaying it this morning. We thought we were too early. It's not even, oh, oh. that was ink, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. I'll finish off with ink all over my face. There's the, there's that one. I did bring a rag with me today. I must've known something. All over my brand new spotted glasses, which I can't tell you who, but a very anonymous, awesome person donated after, after I smashed my other ones because I dropped them in the driveway at night when I was packing and then when I got home I ran over them. So one of the other great things you can get from Inku, a little Inku rags, which is perfect for situations just like this. They don't show up all the black stuff as you might get on other ones. And they've washed up perfectly. Sean is killing his softly. <laughs> as he does. I give him a good whack, he gives him a gentle whack to put them to sleep. Sam probably wants to eat a tentacle because he loves those tenties. Whenever I come home from squid fishing, he's waiting for me to give him some tentacles. There we go, and we're back at it. Was that four to one? Not that I said, it's not a competition, but just, uh, we haven't been here for more than two hours, would we? What's the time? We got here just on 10 or just before 10? Barely an hour. Barely an hour and we've got five squid. I think I got another one on guys. Just the way it's, maybe. Just keeping an eye on it. Yours is under, Sean. Yours is under. Sean's got one, so he's catching up. Amazing. I'm sorry, I'm convinced. I, I've, never squid, I've never squidded with such awesome jigs. People say the squid doesn't matter. You know, they're colorblind, they only see gray, whatever else, fine. But these jigs just catch more squid, it's that simple. And I used them well before I was ever supported by them. So, yeah, well done, Sean. They're good size, they're good eating size. They're not massive, but they're not tiny either. Perfect. Well, I better get my gat act together. That's four to two now. He's starting to catch up. Well, it's got a bit quiet on the squid with the Inku Glow Tiger, so I'm gonna try the Dino White. So we've got the change of color with the Inku Dino White. Put some squid. G's S factor on that, and we'll see if that generates a different result. You can try a little bit further to the right because I've caught them out there on the right before. Yeah. 
Oh, I'll try not to body fall over here. So I just want to say a huge shout out to um, Brett and Shane Menforce at uh, SA Angler Magazine for um, printing my article around fishing and mental health. I hope that um, was a good read for you guys. SA Angler Magazine's online and it's free. So jump on their website and you can read it or download their app so you know when it, every issue comes out. I'll put a link on the screen. Uh, and then that was closely followed by a, uh, a chat with the boys at um, All The Gear But No Idea. So thanks for that invite. And again, hope people found that interesting. As always, if you've got any questions and stuff, please put a comment below. And um, if there's any other things around mental health you'd wanted me to talk about, how I deal with it, strategies, those sorts of things, you know, just hit me up or send me a DM on uh, Instagram. I was probably being a little bit too lazy thinking I didn't actually have to cast a squid as well. So, so I put on the little 2.5 redhead in the Inku and we'll give this a cast and we'll see if we can pick up another couple of squid. And again, we're just, I guess, getting a bit of uh, knowledge for what colors they're going for. Just got the 2.5 on this one because it's not on a float. I don't want it to sink too quickly. It's not hugely deep out here. Yeah, it's being weird. Yeah. It's being a bit weird, it's sort of bobbing up and down, but it's not a squid. I think, I don't know if the tide's changing or... It's gonna go like right out that way, and I'll go that way. Just, we haven't really tried right to the left, almost just in front of that rock. Yeah. Uh, my float. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, I, th I think we might be on, guys. Or maybe not. Yeah, no, we've got a squid on that. For sure. Has to be, 100%. Do you want to just wind your stack in a little bit? Just sort of half dozing off there and had a look and it was down. Then I stood up and it was up and I went, oh, I don't know. And then it went down. So that's number five. It's not going to, again, it's not going to be a huge one. It's going to be about the same size as those other ones we've been catching. But yeah, it's been a little bit quiet between drinks, but it's only on by one small count. He's actually a pretty good size. Just uh, wasn't all that aggressive. Pretty happy with that. I'll put him up here for a photo. He can stay. Sean is called a little banjo, male. So that's number five, and that was on the uh, Dino White, one of the Inku classic colors. Huh? Oh, you got one? Well, I'm glad I caught that last one because Sean's just got his number three. Good size though. We couldn't ask for a uh, better day. I mean, even with the breeze, there's a bit of breeze coming from behind the camera, but it's not cold and it's not too breezy. And there's probably like that just enough for water movement. Sometimes when you don't get any water movement, the squid just stay down and don't do anything. I think I got another squiddly diddly on. He's going to the right very fast. Nice hook up. This feels all right, actually. Oh, this is, uh, this might be a cuttlefish. Yep. Or it's a big squid. It's not. Uh, it, wait, it's not light. He's uh, definitely pulling. Um, feels reasonable. Might not be huge. It might have just been at the start. He was maybe being pulled against the current. I don't know. Uh, it's not huge, huge. But. Uh, 
a good size nonetheless, and it's number six. Right on the crown. Got him. Uh, uh, I gotta say, as much as I'm grunting and groaning, it's pretty, it's pretty easy fishing, really. <laughs> sort of cast it in, wait your turns, reel them in. Couldn't think of a more relaxing way to spend the day, to be honest. What do you reckon? You reckon we got another one? Huh? You've got one? Sean's got one, and I reckon I've got another one out there too. I literally just sat down, guys. Yep, got him. So Sean's kick killing, killing it with the glow, rainbow glow. Rainbow magic, sorry, I'll get it right. I reckon that uh, slow period was just in the chain, turn of the tide. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of got to the bottom and outside's coming in. So Sean's on four and this will be number seven. Sean would be probably even if he just started with the inky from the start, but this one's not as big. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's not tiny. He's not, uh, like he's not bait size. He's definitely eating size. Go again. I sort of don't want to sit down because as soon as I sit down, I'll be on another one. And it's just more energy to get back up. But yeah, I definitely think uh, the little slow we had for about half an hour to an hour was just on the change of the tide, right around that 11, 12 o'clock mark. And now she's coming in to about 3, 3.30, I think. And I'm gonna tell you a secret, I've never bagged out on squid before. So we're up to eight, we've got seven to go, see if we can get it done. Well, that um, wind is picking up again and also the tide is coming in, so we're starting to see a bit more water around the place, just making sure we keep everything dry. And hopefully we're gonna be on for a few more squid. And I think I've got another squid that wants to join the party. Let's have a look. We do. And it's a good one. It's a very good one. It's a very, very good one, actually. I think I'm tip wrapped, but that's okay. Which may be making me think it's a bit bigger than what it is, but you should just lob yours out behind mine in case there's a follower. As I get in a bit closer. But uh, yeah, the Inku strikes struck, struck again. And yeah, this is a good size one. I'm just gonna put him here so he can squirt. So that's, that's in there. Pretty bloody good size, to be honest. So it's eight, so we've got another seven to go for our bag. See if we can do it. And we'll get some more S factor on this one. It's being chewed up quite a bit there, you can see. And that's largely the S factor that'll keep them on there. A good secret little weapon. Perfect. Let's see if we get another one or another seven for our bag. I'm not sure, we could have another one here. No, that's all right. It's just bobbing up and down a bit. Uh, I think we do now, sometimes just moving it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's got one on it, you reckon? <laughs> I think sometimes just moving it, just lifts the jig up and they get it on the sink. So I thought I had one, didn't have one, just moved, moved it and it, you know, grabbed it on the sink. Don't, if you think you got one, you start winding in, don't immediately just wind it all the way in. Make sure you uh, let it sink again and you may get one on the sink. Just bringing this one in and as you can see, I'm not rushing it in. You don't need to, just want a nice slow and steady pace because you don't want them to sort of bounce off it because obviously the squid jigs don't have barbs on them. We're just going to wash him up here. Oh, and he got me again. Well, I mean, people eat squid ink soup, right? Can't be that bad. Wow, this water's coming in. I was trying to get a photo of this one, but the water just kept coming in, so he actually got off the jig and was about to 
pushed himself back into the water. So he picked him up and grabbed him. And we might have to start thinking of moving a bit higher ground. Certainly for me, Sean's got a little bit more area there. But we get him in the bag number nine. Six to go. Righty, hey boys and girls, let's go again. Didn't go very far, but hey, he took some line out with the wind. So for the past two weeks at Pioneer, the boys have been building a massive tank for SA Water down at Warina. I'll put some photos up, it's pretty epic and it's gonna be feeding the, uh, the township of Warina, which as we all know is a pretty good fishing spot as well. I should get down there and have a look at it in person and have a flick for some squid. Um, if you're looking for a rainwater tank, I'm your man. And yeah, give us a, uh, a look up at pioneertanks.com and we'll uh, be able to look after you. So just brought mine in a little bit, even though I can cast out further, just with the tide coming in, they might be coming in a little bit closer to where we are. So we'll just uh, go with that theory for a little bit and see how we go, because Sean's one came from that shorter distance just then. Oh, got it. Or did I get you? You're on, yeah. I think I just had one pull it down and then I missed it. No, he's on. Just had to get the slack in. It's a good size one. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. But, oh, he's pulling, look at the pull on it. <laughs> Could be a cuddly. Again, yeah, so there's Sean on the Glow Pink. So the Glow Pink's going off today, the Glow Tiger, the Rainbow Magic, and then the Dino White here. Don't know uh, how much more convincing any of you guys need that uh, the Inku Squid Tackle is absolutely epic here in South Australia for catching good squidly diddly. That is a good sized squid, guys. And he's on by just the one tentacle there. Might even give him a quick measure for you guys. That's a 30 centimetre hood. So yeah, he was pretty aggressive um, and a good 31 centimetre hood. So that's number 10. So yeah, interesting because I, I pulled mine in, so I do think they're coming in a bit closer to us. So we don't need to cast that just as far, you wonder? No. Yep. Uh, the glow pink is crushing. That's a nice little one. Good size, good eating size. You got another one. You're on 10 as well. Well, there you go. So, Sean's caught up, we're 10 apiece. Who's gonna get their bag first? They're loving the glow pink, I might have to change over. They probably haven't seen one like that before. That's a good size one. That's close to a 30 hood. All right, guys, you're gonna have to give me some likes now to give me uh, the energy to uh, get in front. Guess what, Sean? I'm gonna be in front. Everyone click the like button, you see? So I'm on a number 11, thanks guys. He's not as big, but not small either. So I can't see your float. Are we going one for one at the moment? You dropped yours? All right, so I'm still at 11. It's not that big, but it counts. Four to go for the, uh, for the bag. Well, Sean, I'd like to get the bag before the, wet, the water gets us. <laughs> but again, guys, I don't think they're too far out. I think they're coming in looking for food. All right, guys, while Sean's grabbing my barely uh, rope, I'm pulling in number 12. Oh, and this feels good as well. This is gonna be one of the bigger ones for the day. Can't believe how many squid are out here. He's got it right on his face. There you go, guys. Hey, you didn't get me that time, that's bonus. So Sean's on number 11. I'm just one ahead on 12. So I've got three left, Sean's got four. Who's gonna get, who's gonna get their bag first? Put it in the comments. You got another one? All right, we're even Stevens again. Oh, you still might drop it. <laughs> well, I think you've just found your favorite jig. 
that's uh, yeah, 12 for Sean, 12 for me. Even the Stevens. How awesome is this? As I said, it's not even difficult. They're just uh, jumping on. Comes a wave. Not ideal. Thirteen. We have uh, we have number thirteen. He was being very sly. He was barely taking it under, but it just didn't look right. <laughs> it's not big, but it's thirteen. Edible. Probably, oh, oh. Uh. Nah, he's gone. So it's not number 13. <laughs> he wasn't that big, so that's okay. He got away. As long as he doesn't tell his friends we're here. And I think we're on one already. I think we must have dropped it on his head. Yeah. Definitely. And here comes a big wave again, Sean. So I hope the GoPro doesn't get wet. See this wave. Sean, grab that GoPro just in time, sir. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect, mate. You can get it to stay there. So 13, finally in the back. He might even be the same bloody squid. He's about that size. Uh, good little one. Along with my recent article in SA Angler, there's plenty of other good ones, and if you're into the squidding, I'm assuming you are if you're watching this video, uh, Ollie from Ollie Squidding had a really good uh, educational piece around fishing in new areas you haven't squidded before. So again, SA Anglers, free to, uh, free to download the app, etc. Get into it. If you've got any ideas for me to write an article, drop it in the comments and uh, I'll endeavour to see what I can do. So Sean thinks going back to the uh, Glow Tiger is going to be the winning strategy where I'm sticking with the Dino White, hoping to pick up these last two. Would have been last one if I hadn't let that other one go. I think this was 14. I didn't even really know it was on. I was just pulling it back gently. It's a tiny little one, I think. But we're probably getting down to the small ones now. <laughs> pulling out, you know, 30 squid. But they are very sustainable species, so they, if they're, um, if they're starting to get low in numbers, they'll breed like crazy. He's been on there for, a, he's been on there for a while. He's got that right on his beak. Let's come over here, give you guys a look there. So he's, uh, he's very good. Again, not huge, but not, you know, definitely you can get a bit of feeder from him. So Sean's on for number 13. I haven't got my head cam on because I've run out of battery. Sean will just bring it up in front of the camera on the Glow Tiger. You got it? <laughs> 14 all. How's the suspense, guys? Just give him it in front of the camera. That's a good one. So number 14 each. Who's going to bag out first? I think we both bag out, it's just about who bags out first. Unless you let that one go, <laughs> accidentally, like I lost one go. 14 all. Uh, make that 15 and it's a bloody huge one. I felt that, look at the row. <laughs> this could be a cuddly, this re I've said that three or four times today, but honestly, I've never had a squid, I don't think, pull this hard. <laughs> yeah, it's a squid. That's a good... No, I think I'm right on his crown. It's not even that big, but he was a hungry bunny. Oh, he actually is pretty big. <laughs> there we go, guys. I'm, I'll try and come over. I mean, the feet are pretty much as wet as they're going to get anyway. Oh, what Matty doesn't want to do is drop it. I don't care about getting wet at this point. <laughs> I care about. Hey, and 
Sean has just bagged out as well. So we've done it, guys. He'll bring yours across. His is a little bit bigger, I think. But we bagged out. Well done, Sean. There you go, guys. 30 squid off of Point Riley. Um, we hope you enjoyed that. Uh, watch this video next. Perfect. You got it?